Welcome to Let's Play Forza Motorsport 3, part 184. We are back in the Acura, because it's that time again. Time for the next round in the R1 World Championship. We're going to Circuit de la Sarthe. So, here's a reminder of where everyone is and what they're driving and all that shit. Let's go. And here, kids, is another example of me barely missing the victory on the first attempt, and then, uh... Yeah, every attempt afterwards just going absolutely fucking awful in every way, shape, and form. Granted, this is the only fourth, only the fourth try, but I got a better launch this time. I only got shuffled back to fifth instead of seventh. Please do not touch me, anybody. Okay, nobody touched me. Good. This may be the one. Just gotta be careful here because I like to slow down. Whereas I don't. Oh shit, almost got slapped by Brown. Okay, we in there now. Again. Uh, plus this is another one of those uh, situations where like the first attempt was so interesting that I wish I could have kept it. Hello, Porsche. You are a P2 car. Why are you going so fast? I mean, I know this thing is a little... My Acura is a little lacking in straight line speed for a P1 car. What the fuck? I'm driving an Acura prototype. That's what I'm driving. things. We had Moore and Rossi going at it back and forth for the lead while he attempted to catch them for three laps. Which led to uh, Moore being forced wide heading into Indianapolis going into the gravel and into the wall. Now this is only race 7, Denny. Not 9. But then I had to go and fuck it up because as I was approaching well, we were, me and Rossi were approaching Mulsanne Corner. I, uh, misjudged when Rossi was going to break and absolutely fucking destroyed the back of his car with the front of my car. So. Here we are a few minutes later on attempt four. Hoping for a better result. Not that good of an Indianapolis. This second half of the track, I'm just terrible at compared to them. Like, from the exit of Molson Corner all the way to the exit of Arnage, it's just like, eh. So I thought I was driving Pojo. Now Rossi's in the Pojo. As Moore just freaking slingshot around the outside of Rossi for the lead. Holy shit. I do have a new controller, and it's working very well, and not being a dick and disconnecting every two seconds. So, hooray! Alright. Nice and smooth through the four chicane, a little bit of cutty, but eh. Good old European morning shift crowd. Showing up for about a couple minutes before they have to work. A little mail. I know that feel. Don't worry. Honestly, I'd be concerned for someone who watches me who has all of this shit together, Cubby, so I'm not surprised that no one here has their shit together. Oh, Rossi slingshotting back to, to the front. 
And clear them. The largest T's in there. Fucking crisscross. What's gonna happen to on the lead to the second second chicane? No more uh, paying back the slingshot. That's what's happened. Almost hit Rossi like 12 times there. Rossi is just so drunk around these chicanes, it's not even funny. The hell was that, Rossi? Well, fuck. Yeah, it's 11%, 11%. I can deal with 11%, I hope. Uh-oh, we're gonna have a repeat of the first attempt, maybe? Ooh, they're still door-to-door. -door. Is it gonna, is more gonna go wide? More went wide. It's happening again. Where are you? There he is. Into the wall. Although he didn't smash it this time. I like how the lap after that incident on the first attempt, Moore just went flying into the wall in Indianapolis. Like, I looked back and he was airborne. It was pretty ridiculous. Oh, hey, game was. Yep. Moore was drunk. Rossi is more the drunk one. Moore just got forced wide. from Rossi's drunkenness. Oh, that was that was not a very good chicane. Way too wide. I'm okay, Wiz. Tired, but I'm pretty much never not tired anymore. So hooray! Oh shit. Barely stayed out of the gravel. Okay, let us try this again. This time hopefully not, like, destroy Rossi's car and my car. It's your job to be tired while I'm stealing your job, Wiz. Might as well have had a third job. Although technically this, this would be, I guess, considered my third job since I do make a very small amount of money. Although it's more of a funded hobby at this stage. And it's probably never gonna evolve beyond a funded hobby, so never mind. Come on, can I reach 200 miles per hour? Yeah! 201, absolute top speed. Okay, here's where I have to be careful. Heading in Molson Corner. Okay, remember, Rossi breaks before the kink. So I should adjust my line and braking accordingly. Like that. See, that's what I tried to do on the first attempt and failed miserably. That time. Still a little early on the brakes, but went well and he's just gonna I'm just gonna let him by, fuck it. Seventeen peanuts enough, bro. I only get like twelve peanuts and a uh used napkin. See a torrent? I 
I feel when I have a Patreon, that's pretty much useless, because A, I don't advertise it, B, I don't use it for its intended purpose. A.K.A., you know, giving back to those who give. Because I don't know what to do. Yay. Fuck me. Oh, shit. I don't know if I'm going to do anything special for 10,000 subs. Like, I don't have anything in the brain works, so... Fucking, I don't know. I'll do a special vlog or something, I don't know. stream, implying I can have 24 consecutive hours off of work. Live Q&A, but I've done so many Q&As, there aren't really many Qs that haven't been A'd. It'd just be the same Qs over and over again. Oh, shit, forgot to change cameras. We're in the second half of the race now, Rossi, how are you doing? Okay, so the front end damage is not affecting me too much. It is affecting me, but not too much. But recent stuff, but eh. Tucked in that slipstream, boy. Who almost fucked up one of those shifts by not clutching. But I can't film at Josh, because then I would lose it. So that's not going to happen. fucking line is this you're taking through Chicane Rossi? Okay. Let's do the same move. Slightly better execution that time. I just throw my car in there and it just happens to work. Hello, Rossi. Not forcing me into the gravel. Okay, how you doing? What's up, bro? Somehow I got no damage from that. Don't ask me how. Oh god, it went wide. Probably should have defended, oh well. Because I can follow him through the curves. Definitely feel the effects of the damage through here. To get that little bit of understeer. <clears throat> And another dive. I'll take my Scotty award now, except no, I didn't lock any of the tires on either of those dives. Okay, final lap. Let's not fuck this up.
Okie dokie. Here we go. How quickly is Rossi going to catch me here? Not quick enough. Almost didn't make it into the chicane. Very, very late on the brakes. He sucks around these chicanes. It really does. Is just kind of in the background, like, hey, I'm here too. there. Oh my god. Can he keep the lead? It's the final tor to corner. With a new fast lap on my last lap. Naturally. Oh, my man was popping my fingers. Anyways, there we go. Should have won this on the first try, but no. Oh, well, at least I won. At the Lissarth. <laughs> Win the 24M Dumas. But it was only 17 minutes, not even 24. And then we wait on everyone else. AKA the P2 cars and the older P1 cars. I'm surprised at how much, like, how slow the early 2000s P1 cars are in this game compared to, you know, the modern P1 cars and the P2 cars. Like, what the fuck? I guess aero uh, technology has went a long way in like six or seven years. And all that good shit. Meanwhile, what's, what, what happened to Watanabe? It has forced him to finish so fucking far behind. That he hasn't even crossed the line yet. While we wait on him, let's just look at the points now. Allows well, Jones to tie with Watanabe for 7th. And everything else is... About the same. Johansson gained a couple points. That's about it. Hey, he made it across the line. There we go. Jesus. He must have had a wreck or something. So there we go, round seven complete. We're now officially halfway through the R1 World Championship. Just six races to go. So hooray! More 
more monies. And now we uh, move on to our next uh, circuit spec championship. For our next segment, we're going to be racing Porsches. Nice. So uh, stay tuned for that. <laughs> 